Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. So I have a chat today about these Yeti coolers. Now I love them and I've invested a fair bit of coin in buying a few of them and they really do perform. Now what I don't like is their uh, sizing if you want to call it that. They're, uh, they're actually model names. Now I was told originally that the sizes equated to the amount of ice it would hold. Now that's not quite correct they're uh, not considered not to be connected at all. So the Rody 20 weighs in at 6.8 kilos it will, it will hold 20.1 litres, that's a straight out maths formula. Now uh, for us guys in the metric world sort of one quart is 946 mil. Now I can deal with that if I know they're in quarts or litres no problems. So the Tundra 35 weighs 10 kilos it holds 26 and a half litres, so it's a long way from the two. Now, in the Australian website, Yeti says it holds 13 kilos of ice, which is 28 pounds. So there again, it doesn't tally with the holds just ice. The Tundra 45 weighs in at 11 kilos, holds 34.4 litres, and uh, West Australia, they say 16 kilos of ice, which is 35 pounds. So there again. Now, the Tundra Hall, the one with the wheels, I could not find anything on that. I had a quart uh, from the internet saying 45 quarts. Measuring off what uh, Yeti provided on centimetres, I get 47.75 litres. Maybe it loses a couple of quarts if the wheels are inset. So if you know, let me know in the comments section. The Tundra 65 I worked out to be 52 litres. It holds. Uh, 25 kilos of ice which is 55 pounds so there again not have to do with the 65 series and the Tundra 75 weighs in at uh, 17 kilos holds 70 litres and it's rated at 30 kilos of ice on their website which is 66 pounds so I don't know what all the mystery is about I mean if I go down to the, the shop and want to buy a 20 litre fuel can it holds 20 litres yeah whether it's marketing or they don't want you doing a hard comparison between different brands of coolers, I don't know. But these are high-end products. These are serious investments. This isn't you know, someone buying a cheap esky. You're shelling out between 300 and 700 Australian dollars. So it really should be a bit more transparent than that. Otherwise, I mean, they are a fabulous product. I can't say enough good things about them. But I'd like to see simple yeah, explanations of capacity. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.